Today's business report, live at the NASDAQ, is brought to you by Rejoice Financial. Here to 724, time to talk to Jane King in New York. Yeah, and about 20 U.S. states now have gas below $2 a gallon, Jane. That's right. Good morning. I mean, what a drop we have seen in gas prices over the past six weeks, Scott and Nina. Sub $2 gasoline can now be found at least in one gas station in 20 states. Now, the lowest per gallon price was a buck 69. That was at a Bucky's station in Texas, according to Gas Buddy. The plunge in gas comes after crude futures are down a third from an October high. And economists say these lower gas prices are saving the country $125 million a day compared to what was being paid in early October. The average price in Indiana right now, $2.28 a gallon. Well, Duke Energy is expanding the voluntary buyout offers announced in October to employees in divisions including legal, human resources, and power plant operations. Some layoffs are likely in the nuclear and information technology divisions. A Duke spokesman told Biz Journals the job reductions are not aimed at making the company smaller, but rather at making it more efficient and holding costs down for customers. Well, Ford is cutting a shift at two of its plants, but it is not laying off any workers, at least not yet. So the the automaker is shifting about 500 workers from its Louisville assembly plant to another Kentucky plant. So they will increase production of the Ford Expedition and the Lincoln Navigator there, and it will move some workers to different plants in Michigan as well. Injured scooter riders flooding U.S. emergency rooms. Accident rates could be as high as 1,000 per month. CNET reports that trauma surgeons are reporting daily occurrences in hospitals from San Diego to Denver to Austin. Now, some of these injuries have been life-threatening. Others have left people permanently disabled. Doctors say the fact that very few people wear helmets is contributing to the rise in the serious injuries. And one big worry taken away from Wall Street, the Dow soared 600 points yesterday. Fed Chairman Jay Powell, amazing when the Fed Chairman speaks, what can happen? Uh, he hinted that he's not so eager to raise interest rates. He has been under a ton of public pressure from the president to not raise interest rates. It was the best day for the Dow since March, and we're on track for our best week in the Dow in two years. It uh, does look like we'll open about 50 points lower today, though. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Scott and Nina. Jane, looking back at Cyber Monday, it seems one of the biggest cooking trends was very popular for yeah. folks in Indiana. That's right. So the Instapot, the top purchase in Indiana on Walmart.com on Cyber Monday. The most popular item that day, 33 states have the Instapot as the biggest seller. Mm. Other popular items, the Faberware Air Fryer, Magic Bullet Blender, and the 28-piece Pyrex set. A lot of people doing cooking. Have you yeah. guys ever used the Instapot? I have not used one. People love it. So we're a slow so, cooker family. And us I have too. To, I have to <laughs> yes. explain to my boss lady at home that the Instapot's fun because it can be a, a pressure cooker too. Do the exact opposite yes. thing if you want. But I haven't made the sale yet. Yes. No, we don't. We I don't know. Have one. Yeah. I might try it. I'm a little scared. I'm like, can I figure this thing out? I don't know. Maybe we should have but, like Instapot week on daybreak. And Jane, you yeah. and me and Scott, we can all try things and see what happens. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. People love it. So, yeah. Okay, Jane. Thank you. Thanks. It is 7:27 now. Next.